Sorry, one second. Can you please repeat? So these four go with the soul uh, after birth. Ah, yes. These four will be always with the soul, birth after birth. That is called subtle body. As long as the subtle body is not pure, we continue to stay in this material world. Only when we become thoroughly purified, when the subtle body says, so my dear sir, enough is enough. You please go back. <laughs> so then we are ready to go back to God. Mm. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, just, uh, may I just uh, say, Prabhuji, there are a few devotees who are trying to join for the second time mm. and they are unable to come in. So I just got a call from Deepika Kenny Mataji that uh, she's trying to join in. Hmm. But uh, unable to join. Oh, so, I'm sorry, yeah, but now, anyway. Now I could join. Now ah. I could join. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, hurry, but next yeah. time onwards. So, we'll this is the second this. time uh, we have to we have done this. Second yes, yes. time, you know. Yes, yes. Yeah. We don't okay. have so, the Prabhuji, registered... there are... <laughs> Yeah, you have said four things. So mind, ah. intelligence, ahankar, and which is the fourth one? You said. Chitta or chetana. Okay, so chitta and chetana can uh, chitta and chitta can you discriminate between? No, both are same only. Some places it is called chitta, some places it is called chetana. Both are same only. One person only called with two different names. So this chitta and chitta is also same. Chitana. Ah, same. Okay, okay, yeah. Mm. Thank you. It's one o'clock, but still, any devotees have any questions? No, it's okay. Just by reading the book, you will not get it. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Later on, you can read the book. Uh, <laughs> it's actually, we need to go a little more detail so that we will understand you will catch the yeah, terminology. Yeah, so, <laughs> See, basically, it's a, Though I may be, may be explaining through the medium of the, the management committee, etc. Basically, we have grass body and subtle body. Our grass body is made up of earth, water, fire, air, ether. Yeah. The pancha mahabhutas. That is the grass body. Our subtle body is made up of the five jnanendriyas, five karmendriyas, man, buddhi, ahankara, chetana. Total 14 elements are making our Subtle body. The five grass elements along with their five specific properties. Shabda, Rupa, Shabda, Sparsha, Rupa, Rasa, Ganda. These ten are making our grass body. When we die, we leave behind the grass body made up of Panchamahabhutas along with their five properties. With the remaining 14 elements, we enter into the womb of another mother. Yes, also when we come back. Sorry? When we take the body, we get also those things. And that's why everybody has their own anger. Ah, and yes. The, the subtle body is same only. The same subtle body we enter into the another womb of another mother. Mm. That mother's womb will develop our new grass body. Mm. So, this is how the things are going on. So, what do you mean by subtle body? I'll give you some, some example. We have the eyes. I mean the eyeball is there. Yeah. In Sanskrit, in Bhagavatam, it is called as Akshni. The fleshy eyeball. Flesh means it is made up of earth, water, fire, air, ether. Whatever body, grass body, the, with all the bodily organs, they are all made up of Pancha Mahabhutas. So this is acting like the uh, spectacles. Right now I have spectacles. They actually enhance our vision. They basically they collect the raw information. What is there? Whatever image is there in the outside world, it will be reflected on the retina. But what is the uh, specification of that image which is reflected on the retina? That information is transferred from the retina to the heart where the intelligence is situated is called Chakshu. That is called subtle eye sense organ. The fleshy eye is grass sense organ known as Akshini. The mechanism through which the image on the surface of the retina 
transported from the eyeball to the heart is called subtle sense organ in sanskrit is called as chakshu so this is how there is a distinction between the grass organ and subtle organ we have the nostril known as nasika when we smell the fragrance of some object nearby the information raw information moved from nostril to the core of the heart it is called subtle sense organ so like that for every object also we have karma this grass ears are called karma but when we hear some sound the information is transported from the ears to the heart that is called subtle sense organ shrotram that is called shrotram this is karna the transporting mechanism called shrotram so like that we have all uh, different uh, hands also yes. uh, this is called grass fleshy and made up of the flesh and bones etc but the ability to lift some object give and collect that is subtle sense organ the ability the subtle sense organ the the flesh object is the grass organ can be replaced but the ability cannot be replaced if the seeing ability is there but the eye retina is damaged we can put somebody else's eye so we get to see but the ability itself is removed even though changing the grass ball multiple times we cannot get it so let's see that's why we have this this uh, phenomena called as out of body experience near death experience we have so many recorded uh, case studies the person going through some surgery in the icu later on the person exp- explains i have seen the doctor is cutting my body and so many things who is seeing the person with a subtle body is seeing the entire thing uh, kind of surgery is happening to the grass body subtle body has the ability to see not happen to you but but in this world to see the things we need a grass body even though i have eyes i have some eye sight but my eye sight is improved by spectacles like that the grass body is acting like the external apparatus this is the distinction so among the subtle body to 14 element the four elements are important they are the decision makers man buddhi ahankara chetana so whatever information we receive through the senses the five gnanendriyas it is analyzed by the intelligence intelligence will tell what is what and whatever experience we go through that observation observation could be seeing somebody hearing somebody eating something or touching something we have an experience that experience is stored in the mind if we touch fire bad experience or while cooking if you without the cloth if you touch the wake vessel there is a burning experience so that is stored in the mind good experience or bad experience all that all of them are stored in the mind and whenever such kind of situation again comes the mind will put forward the past experience and the intelligence will take the decision that to do it or not so last time aisa hua abhi karega to wapas aise hoga nahi karne ka something like that so these four elements have different uh, functions to do intelligence its function is to deal with matter it takes care of our dealings with the matter chetana's function is to deal with spirit both are the same function chetana takes care of the activities of the they takes care of the spiritual activities intelligence takes care of the material activities this is the distinction between these two functions that's why propa says krishna conscious be krishna conscious means always perform spiritual activities activate your chetana otherwise the intelligence only performing day in day out all the material activities only chetana is sleeping so like so in the morning when you get up from all in the mind tells you tell you see but when you are in the conscious you must say your mind is it is Yeah, no we are also closing i mean okay. a couple of minutes Excellent. so it, it's already 110 so we'll be meeting again next week same time same day we wanted to discuss with them what these days comfortable or just one
Okay, Thursday is okay. So, what about the devotees yes. online? No. Okay, you discuss and discuss, discuss, discuss with hmm. the online devotees and offline also and decide the day. If it suits, I'm okay with it. Okay. No. There are some monkeys no. who also attend the lecture. They won't like Poonam wanted to attend this. She She's not able to do it because it's Friday. So, we'll discuss that among ourselves and fix a day. We'll ask him if he's comfortable. Not Wednesday because I've got this. So, Wednesday is no doubt. See that. Yeah. So we'll call again. Yeah, we'll see. Ah, okay. I'm okay. Just okay. But still, we'll come. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, except these three days. Other days, I'm okay with this time. Okay. Thank Hare Krishna. So Hare Krishna, thank you very much for the devotees online for joining. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you.